Well, today we're going to make meatloaf. Now, everybody makes their meatloaf a little different, so this is how I make my meatloaf. Now, this isn't just for me and my husband. As you can see, there's a lot here. Uh, I'm going to make some for uh, me and my husband, and I'm going to run some over to my son's house and my two granddaughters and their husbands. So this is going to be, and then, of course, my other grandson, Jeremiah. So that would be... Um, Three from my son's house and my great, I mean then my grandchildren, uh, they live in a different house. There's uh, four adults and two little ones. Uh, one of them will be big enough to eat some of it, the other one's too small. So, um, so there'll be five at that house. So that's five, that's eight, and we're counting us as ten. So this is going to be enough to feed ten people. So you can divide it, making it bigger or smaller. So I'm making enough for ten people here. And what do I have? I have Quaker oats. I use the old fashioned, that's my favorite. I don't use tomato sauce, I use ketchup. I think it gets more flavor and spicy. And I have two pounds of ground beef and one pound of sausage. One onion, I may use a second onion. I'll have to wait and see how much onion is when I get it in that bowl. Um, and then I always use some garlic salt, lemon pepper, and I know this is gonna sound weird to most of you people, I use Italian seasonings in almost every single thing I put together. So I'm going to be putting some of that too. So these, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight ingredients. So it's not, it's pretty easy. And three of them are seasoning. So the only thing that's a really big production probably is the oatmeal, the ketchup, the hamburger meat, the sausage, and the onion. Everything else is just something you always have in your pantry. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five ingredients counting seasonings. So that's a pretty easy recipe to throw together. And like I said, you can cut this in half or you can double it. Normally I wouldn't cook this much meat because that's three pounds of meat that I'm going to be cooking. But I'm going to be making that into three meatloaf patties. And uh, that's enough to make quite a bit of meatloaf slices and some meat, meat, meatloaf sandwiches, maybe two. So in the long run, it's pretty inexpensive when we're all said and done with it. Okay, let's get busy and start making this meatloaf. Update time. I already forgot something. I always put eggs in. Probably this much meat. It's probably going to be probably four um, eggs for a binder because we want everything to stick together. So uh, these are from Stater Brothers. That's a local grocery store by us and just a few blocks from my house. So far, I have put two pounds of ground beef, one pound of sausage. You can use any kind of sausage you use. Uh, the Italian spicy, it tastes really good in this, and also the Italian sweet. But because I have a family that likes just bland food, because they all have tummies that can't handle spice, uh, mine is just plain uh, sausage. Me, on the other hand, I could do with all that spices. Now, and then I put two cups of um, oatmeal to these three cups. Cups, what am I saying? Two, three pounds. See, let's go over this again. Two pounds of ground beef, one pound of sausage, two cups of oatmeal, uh, old-fashioned, and four eggs so far. Now, I don't ever measure anything, so I may have to add more. I'm just doing this for people that like recipes. I am also, well, let's not go any further. Let me get th this onion cut up and then we'll mix, start mixing. Now, I did put one large onion in here. I really couldn't seem to cut it up as small as I would have liked. And I don't know if it needs another onion or not. Um, I may start mixing this up. And if I feel like it doesn't look like enough onion, I might put a second one in. But usually I don't make quite this much up and one onion is enough. And I'm, when I'm mixing it up, I'm going to mix up the ketchup at the same time. And this, I, I film everything on a tablet, so I'm holding it usually. And I don't want anything getting, any food getting on my tablet. So I will show you how everything looks once everything is mixed, including the seasonings in here. So I'm going to put seasonings, and I think the seasonings you need to put as much or as little as you like. And if you don't like a lot of Italian seasonings, don't put it in. I, on the other hand, love it. So I put it in almost everything. Um, and I always put lemon pepper, and I always live, put garlic salt in almost everything also. So anyway, let's get busy on this. 
Now, I didn't measure this ketchup out. I just squirted it out because just make it more of a mess. If I put it in a measuring cup, then I got to get it just a messy. So I just looked like it covered up pretty good. And now I'm going to put the salt and pepper. And I see the lemon pepper, the garlic salt, and my uh, Italian seasonings in. And you season however you want. You can put any seasonings in you want, more or less. I love a lot of flavor. Just make sure you don't put too much. You can always add more, but you can't take it out once you put it in. I'm getting ready to mix it together now and put these seasonings in. Well, as you've seen, I did put a lot of seasonings in mine. You do not have to put this much in yours. I just love a lot of flavor and seasonings in everything I make. Just showing you, I did put quite a bit. I didn't just put one little shake. I put quite a few. Well, now it's time to mix. Well, once I got it all mixed up, I didn't like how it looked, so I put another cup of uh, oatmeal in there, and I'm putting two more eggs to get a little bit more moisture in there and thin out that meat a little bit. Now, you do not have to do this, but that's how Grandma does it. She just keeps mixing until she's happy how it looks. Normally, I wouldn't even have even done the way I did it, but because I'm trying to show people how to make a meatloaf, that's why I'm doing this, because I don't know how much I put in. I only know what it looks like when I'm done and how I want it to look. So, for three pounds of meat, I use three cups of oatmeal. I also used um, six eggs because I added two more eggs in. So I guess that's two eggs and one cup of oatmeal to one pound of meat. That's probably the best way to describe what the ingredients were on this. Now let me get it mixed up and see what it's like then. And because I put more uh, oatmeal and eggs in, I put some more ketchup and some more seasonings for this will be nicely seasoned. Like I said, the seasonings you're going to have to season to your own personal taste bud. And the same with the ketchup. I love a lot of ketchup in my meatloaf. And I don't use any tomato sauce. So, let's go start making those little um, loaves for my meatloaf. And I'm going to cook this in my electric skillet, not in my oven because we're already in the 90s and hundreds here and it's very hot and the electric skillet is not going to heat up my house like the oven would. Now this is my electric skillet. This is a very large one and it's also pretty deep. Uh, if you have a small one you would not be able to make them as big as I'm going to make these three uh, meatloaves but there's going to be three of them, at least three in here. I mean it might make four, I don't know. But anyway, usually I make three. Uh, and the length of time cooking is also going to be on how big your meatloaves are. Uh, always please cut into it and make sure you check to be sure it's cooked all the way through if they're big. Okay, let's get busy and try this electric skillet out and get everything lined up. Well, here's my three meatloaves. Uh, I'm going to put some ketchup on top, but I'm going to wait until it gets pretty well at least halfway cooked before I do that. Because I don't want the ketchup burning at the bottom of my electric skillet. Okay, uh, I have my electric skillet. Let's see what we have it set at here. Uh, I am going to set it, I think I'm going to set it at 250. Don't want to set it up too high and have it start burning. Okay, I set it for 250. Like I said, um, I'm doing this on the electric skillet, not in the oven. And I don't know if all the electric skillets have where it has this temperature gauge either. But this is a newer one. In fact, I don't even know how much I've used this electric skillet. Maybe more than once or twice. Okay, let's get busy and see what else we can do. Forgot to mention, be sure you put the lid on your electric skillet. We don't want our, our uh, meatloaf to dry out. Well, about 20-25 uh, minutes after I cooked one side, I flipped the meat over to let it brown on the other side, and I'll be putting the um, ketchup on top once I think it's brown some. I don't want the ketchup to burn all over the bottom of the electric side pan. my meat. I just put the, um, it's almost done. I cooked it 25 on each side and I put the ketchup on at the last minute to let it sort of get in the meat a little bit. 
and I'll be taking it out in probably another 15 or 20 minutes. In the same fry pan that I cooked the meatloaf, now I threw, cut up my potatoes, put them in there with a little bit of oil. Normally, I would have plenty of oil from the meat, but I guess when I asked for the cheap hamburger meat, they gave me the higher grade because there was no drippings at all in this frying pan. And so I had to put a little bit of oil in there. So it's better to use the cheaper hamburger meat for this dish. And as you can see, I also cut up another onion to have fried onions, potatoes, and ketchup. And mixing it all together. And it will be yummy. Now I don't know if any of you have ever made potatoes this way, but we like it. And of course you can add salt and pepper, garlic salt, uh, whatever seasonings you want to spice it up. I haven't put any in yet, and I may leave some of the things out until we're ready to eat. Okay, we're on to the potatoes now. My potatoes are just about half done now, so I have put some garlic salt, uh, Italian seasonings, and lemon pepper. I know it sounds crazy, but I use Italian seasonings in almost everything I cook. I love the flavor. Okay, let's see what it looks like when we're done. Let's put that lid back on. Well, all the foods at my daughter-in-law's house. This is the corn. This is the potatoes. Meatloaf. And a little more meatloaf. Me and Grandpa already had a little. That's why some is missing. Or do you want apple and broccoli? Which one? Mm-mm-mm. Does not, not look good. Well, that's why Daddy cookie. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I just gave him a Is anybody gonna tell Grandma thank you? Well, thank you. There's the thank family. Thank you. See, it looks delicious. Wow, you made so much, Grandma. Look at all that meatloaf too. Do you know what looks the best, Grandma? The corn looks great. Doesn't it look nice? The potatoes. I just, great. I just I want. One. I just want um the where the butter part is. I'm like, mm, that looks good. Let me try a potato. Potato. Oh, you want a bite of potato? Yes, honey. He does. Nathaniel. Potato. Oops. Gonna turn it off.